Hello, this is Rob from Access. I'm here with Nate. Hello. And this week we have been playing loads of GTA 5. And we have come up with a list of the seven things you absolutely have to do in the game. And they're all a bit crazy. And I think the first one is yours. It certainly is, yeah. This is Weasel Plaza, which is the game's version of Fox Plaza, which is a building in LA which featured prominently, Rob, as you know, in the movie Die Hard. It and is this where looks like Die Hard, doesn't it? This I love this. The sunsets in particular remind me of Die Hard. So the one thing you have to do is die like Alan Rickman by tossing yourself from the top oh, of the building. Oh, God, that's going to hurt. That's really violent. So I like Alan Rickman, number one, <laughs> from the Nakatomi <laughs> you Plaza. kicked us off brilliantly there. My favourite, though, is uh, escaping five-star wanted levels. Well, not really escaping, just no, like... that's not just, really on the cards. You know, surviving as long as you can while Rihanna plays on the radio, which was one of the most incredible things I came across in the game. Was it... <laughs> Rihanna, <laughs> the Rihanna That guy's finished. Um, <laughs> no, what, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the... Um, the rites of passage, isn't it? Like you have to do on every GTA game is get up to five stars and survive for as long as you can. And that's when like some of the most mental stuff that yeah. happens, happens. Like this guy is going down. He's gone. A cart cartwheeling through the... Rihanna. Top. This is me. And then this is why I ended up on the freeway with a helicopter, you know, firing rockets at roadblocks listening to Rihanna. Uh, while you were amazing. with Franklin trying to escape the... Cops trying to escape the cops out of the country. And it, this is... Just brilliant, this bit of gameplay that is going to be coming up in the helicopter. Here's some more escaping around Mount Chiliad. Yeah, this, this, yeah, I'm glad we cut away there because I died horribly. But this bit here is just beautiful. Maybe we should just let it down. I really miss was good. I know, yeah, the cascading debris didn't look nice. And it was at that point, the smoke pouring from the back of my helicopter, I thought, maybe I should leave. I'll call it quits now. Maybe I should go. Well, that was good, though. The next one is yours, Rob. And in number three, you, oh, listen, you I need to this. go... Yeah, going back to Grove Street was amazing. Back to the, the home of CJ from San Andreas. And the, the cul-de-sac looks exactly the same. Like, the houses look a little different, but that kind of cul-de-sac's there. The ball is in the purple are there as well, they're, oh, your, you're, they're you're your rival gang. Creeping up menacingly on them in a van. Just like <laughs> That's, this pilots. is where it is on the map if you want to see for yourself. But unfortunately, just revisiting it wasn't really enough for me. So not, for, not for a man like Rob. No, so what I had to do to make my experience a little bit better was kill some ballers. Look at the way, I like the way that even though you've got a sticky bomb, you're creeping up on them. <laughs> hey guys! Surprise, <laughs> lads! <laughs> <laughs> just hits him on the shoulder. There you go, have a bomb. Old grudges die hard. You've not really come prepared, Rob, I must no, say. I've in come a, in, in a vest shorts and a vest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. And then I've been mauled. Look at this Savagely. dog. The way this dog is not giving up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so this this one's mine. This is um, there's a, an unfinished skyscraper in the middle of downtown part of uh, of Let's Los, just speed this Los up Santos. You can climb to the top. It does take ages. But this the, is at like 30 times speed, <laughs> and it still takes it this took, long. It took me a while. Um, and the view from the top is incredible. It is. And obviously, Wonderful. once you've got that high, the thing you need to do is jump off. But you can have if you've got a parachute, then you can just turn it into an X Games worthy base jump. I assume that's they have in the X Games probably. Um, I love parachuting, just slowly taking in the view from really high up. I assume you're going to land this really elegantly. You know? I did. I, l I wanted to go onto this, and then I realised I wasn't going to make it. I, mean, oh, I didn't no. know what to do. Uh, I, don't, I think you're going to be suitably impressed with the actual uh, really. Okay. Let's landing. See I thought about getting tangled up in the trees. Maybe that that might work. Um, but I finished it, yeah, I finished You're it. You're going to go into that billboard, aren't you? Yes, I am, that's correct. Oh, for goodness sake. That is ridiculous. This one's much nicer. Everything else, everything so far has ended in uh, in death. But this one, riding... Let's hope the roller coaster, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the roller coaster at the end of the Del Piero Pier, which you have to ride not just during the daytime, Rob, but specifically at night, because the way that the beach and the lights from the city look at night time is fantastic. And the light does look amazing. Oh, how peaceful. Ready? How peaceful. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> and the nice thing about it is that Michael, for all the things that happen to Michael in the game, all the various unpleasantnesses which he's involved with, he really, really enjoys the roller coaster. He just likes going around and I like the sound of the screams. They sound like the genuine roller coaster screams, which is half the excitement of the roller coaster. It's a very pleasant thing. Everyone being terrified. Uh, that city does look amazing. Yeah. And the water, like the, the lights coming off the water. As a big fan of water, Rob, 
It was fifteen dollars well spent, wasn't it? It's quite a steep roller coaster. <laughs> um, well done. Okay, now this, I have to explain this quickly. This is you have to get eaten by a shark, number six, and the best way to do that. Well, you put a waypoint in the ocean, you get into a taxi, he says, where do you want to go? And then you fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> you end up in the middle of the water. That taxi driver swam away really quickly. It's, it's almost like he knew what was coming. Um, what is coming? One uh, of those. Well, I, got, I got a knife out. I thought I might be able to take the shark. Um, really? Yeah. I doubt I just, it. Or just, there you no, go. No, absolutely not. I like the way he's just had a little nibble. He's not actually eating you. Just no. like a real shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last one. This is number seven. This is. What well, do you want to explain, it, Rob? This looks a lot more peaceful, doesn't it? You're going. You get in a cable car and you go to the top of Mount Chiliad, and we thought it was a really nice way to end GTA Five week after all the guns and death and mayhem. Yeah. By just travelling to the top of Mount Chiliad and observing the sunset. And it is a very nice sunset. It and looks beautiful. I would like credit at this point for my National Geographic standard photography work. During is this, this you section. moving the camera? Is it, it certainly is. Yeah. I yes. Oh, that is, that is beautiful, Trevor. isn't it? Just the sky, the quiet. The there's lens flare. There's no Rihanna here. It's just the sun and nature. It's you could beautiful. Just, you could stay looking at that for even, hours, couldn't you? Even Trevor looks elegant in these surroundings. <laughs> I'm not Ma- sure about that. Mad lunatic Trevor. <laughs> and the birds swooping around. You can see, yeah, Los Santos there, covered in, well, probably smog, isn't it? Well, there it is. There's the final shot of GTA Five week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're ending it on a beautiful sunset. Well, I don't think there's any way. I was going to end it on a beautiful sunset, but then an idea occurred to me. I don't know when, if, if you saw the bike in the background. <sighs> so you have to what take a cable, take a cable car to the top, watch the sunset, and then survive the ride to the bottom of the mountain. And if you can do it, you're a better man than but me. You've not done it on the road, have you? You've just no, of course not. Down no, the have, spine of the mountain. Yeah, you have to just jump off, pick a side, jump off. Look, it looked for a second as if I was going to survive. <laughs> I and just, then you died. And then I just didn't survive at all. So that's actually the end of GTA 5 week. Well, that was GTA 5 week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see loads more GTA 5 videos, all of them as mad as this one, and loads of videos on PS4 as well.